The space solar project is going to change the way we think about energy. The space-based solar power initiative is a very daring effort to provide power to remote locations on Earth by collecting solar power from the sun, collect it in space, convert it to energy, send it down to Earth via microwave waves. So that we can have constant power from the sun on the Earth even when it's nighttime. This project is really a unique collaboration between three professors that are in distinct fields. Integrating those three fields ends up enabling a solution that uh, is so unique uh, and so impactful, it makes it exciting every day. I work in Professor Pellegrino's lab. Our part in this process is to develop very light structures that can support the solar cells and all the other equipment for the power transfer. For that, we develop ultralight composite structures, which are also foldable into a very tight volume so that they can fit inside a, a launch vehicle. My work focuses on the solar cell, the photovoltaic aspects of that. We are designing solar panels that have a power to weight ratio that is 50 to 100 times higher than any other current state of the art space solar panels much, much higher than what you would find for terrestrial solar panels. In Professor Hajimiri's group, we research the electronics that convert the DC power and convert it to RF power and send it onto Earth in usable form so it can be recovered. One of the brilliant aspects of this project is that we've made a design that is both integrated and very modular. By integrating everything onto an IC, as well as integrating the antennas onto the lightweight structure, and make it one holistic system that does everything at once, helps you tremendously to reduce the weight and reduce the cost to a point where it's actually competitive with uh, Earth-based utility companies. We have a small subunit that we call the tile, and that's repeated identically across the entire area of the array. A spacecraft would have many of these. All of them would work in unison to produce a large uh, amount of energy. We just had a very exciting milestone uh, a few months ago where for the first time we developed hardware that integrated all three of the technologies that we're developing. And we've demonstrated that you can receive power from a solar simulator and convert it to energy and send that power and receive it um, at a distance away. At Caltech, we, we approach these problems very fundamentally. And that inherently changes the um, answers that we come up with. We have the audacity to attempt some of this non-traditional approaches and, and that's kind of what you need if you want to have any hope of achieving the performance targets we're aiming at. This is a project um, which is where Caltech really excels. You're working on cutting edge problems. Um, you can't Google the solution. <laughs> and Professor Ajimiri has seen a lot of problems, but he's always there to help you. Professor Atwater has a tremendous optimism, which makes him very fun and stimulating to work for. Professor Pellegrino himself inspires uh, a culture of problem solving, which is very rewarding to work with. And these people are going to lead a revolution which has never been done. And this revolution will make our world a better place We'll be having energy on demand anywhere, anytime, any place.